Hey everyone, I am Srinivasan, SwissShop.net developer. Uh, this is the part 3 video of uh, SQLite database playlist. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a schema, data, SQLite database schema. So first, uh, I am going to create a database. So to create a database, I am going to use SQLite uh, manager extension tool. Uh, uh, if, if, if you don't know what is Excelite manager extension, uh, I just explained in the part 2 video of this playlist so you can check the video and yeah now I'm going to create a database for that uh, you can see there is option to create uh, there is option new option to create a database this is the option to create a database my DB2 option uh, uh, is a database name of the database DB2 so you can rename it once you save this database once you save which means uh, export this database in a particular directory folder so you can rename after that yeah so now uh, i just want to create i just want to add a new uh, editor so for that uh, control shift a yeah now i'm going to create a table uh, table uh, on db2 database so This is the constraint auto increment con constraints. So, um, so once uh, the the table is created, or whenever we uh, insert a new row, the the value of the ID column is automatically will be increased one by one. Yeah. So I'm going to enter Shift Enter to move uh, next uh, line. So you can uh, enter Shift Enter. Otherwise, if you enter, uh, uh, if you press Enter key so it will execute the uh, code written in the same editor so so we we we, are, we did not finish the complete uh, table uh, query right so creating the table query so i just enter shift enter so now i'm here so the next one is name and where can and where can 100 or where can you can use back also comma shift enter and uh, name age integer um, name must be not null and comma shift a uh, gender um text yeah that's it so if i enter now so you can see my table is created the confirmation message there is uh, there is no confirmation message to uh, which shows uh, the table is created there is uh, uh, whenever we um uh, we do some uh, execution like uh, creating um, tables and inserting rows so we will get the result empty so which means uh, this code is successfully uh, executed and our table is created now so you can see if I enter my table is created parent table is created right so I just want to create a new editor now I want to create a child table child Now ID uh, integer primary primary key auto increment increment shift A uh, parent ID integer references References parent table parent ID not null and again simply column one uh, date 
yeah that's it mm. three columns created for child table so now I'm going to enter the child table is created right so uh, whenever you use auto increment constraint so you need to mention the data type properly so if you specify I only int for integer so this uh, auto increment constraint will not work when you create a table so you need to mention complete uh, int g or so then only this auto increment will work properly when you create a table into the database right so two tables are created I just create a one uh, database and two tables created now I'm going to enter here so you can see child and parent parent tables are uh, inserted on a DB2 uh, database I just want to save the database now you can see so in folder what is um, the name of this memory right sorry yeah this is what we exported now so we just I just want to cut and I just want to paste wherever I want to include it and want to re rename it as my DB my DB that's it so we can use uh, into any applications directly and we can import this DB into the Escalate Manager uh, extension tool. Like now, I just want to clear it. Now, uh, file here is my DB. Yeah, here is our table. So we have a two uh, table uh, which already which we already created, right? Yeah. Um, and um, um, and again specifically I just want to explain uh, data types of the SQLite so data types of SQLite uh, whatever we, we can specify in data type uh, like um, yeah you can see uh, browser you can see there is a only um, uh, four or five uh, five uh, the SQLite 3 uh, version 3 is a new uh, version of data SQLite so and it has uh, only five uh, default databases sorry default data types and um, and um, yeah uh, <coughs> databases but we can give whatever we want in the query when we create a table when we create a table so we can we can give whatever we want like create table table demo my column here um, you can give whatever we want like nvar care so nvar care they did not uh, nvar care is not a default uh, uh, data type it's a affinity so the nvar nvar care uh, affinity is text actually right and um, yeah and where care, uh, where care, text, all these things comes on uh, uh, day, day time. So all these data types uh, comes under text default data type. So numeric is nothing but numeric is uh, is a, a num numerical values except integer and real uh, other than uh, integer and real values or called as numerical values. Here directly we can specify integer. Uh, this is the family uh, integer family actually and this is the real uh, real is nothing but floating double uh, uh, double decimal points or um, decimal data types or the uh, comes under the real uh, default data types and blob is nothing but byte array and uh, binary uh, uh, data types or uh, comes uh, under the blob data types so we can specify whatever we want and the SQLite will choose and convert the data type into a particular uh, default data type so that, that's not a problem so yeah now and we have 
and we can specify whatever uh, character whatever collection of characters as uh, as a data type in nisclet database it's not a problem so if i specify xyz as the data type of column one in a table demo uh, table so now i'm going to create the table demo table the table is created without any error because xyz it did not uh, um, it did not show any error you can see xyz it's not a uh, data type right? we did not use in use before uh, in any other databases but sqlite in sqlite so it will take uh, xyz is a is a um, uh, data type any any one any data type of these five def default data types so it will convert depend on the value like yeah now you can see so now um, i'm going to insert table demo uh, table demo something i just want to clear. my column values i gave my column value and the second one is i gave i'll simply give 142 142 near 142 the syntax error right column one because it's a numeric incomplete input sorry yeah the value the rows row is inserted for um, You can see the value is inserted and yeah now I just want to change it as a text now you can see I can insert I can able to insert um, um, for the first insert for uh, 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 insert of row insertion of row I gave it as a number so now I gave it uh, the value of the column one as uh, uh, text actually. So now you can see this is a number first time I executed. So now I executed the uh, this query with the text value. Uh, both values are saved. So now the third one I gave some value. Yeah. This is also executed properly. You can see, which means you can say whatever you want. You can uh, mention whatever data type you want when you use SQLite database. It's very uh, simple and it's very good to hear. And uh, this is how we can create a uh, schema there uh, and tables inside the schema. So in future uh, videos, I will tell you one by one how to insert the rows, how to update or delete and select the columns using joins and uh, yeah everything one by one thank you guys i hope i hope you can understand this uh, uh, this uh, uh, creating a schema tables uh, with the uh, uh, default data types of sqlite thank you guys thank you